Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and this is our September recap video. It's been a super crazy, super busy month over here at Reindeer Studios, as per usual. Uh, I got a couple of video responses. I've got our shareholders meeting, some very nice gifts and care packages, plus a couple of pickups, so let's do it. This one's pretty late, but that's okay. It's all about the support. Uh, it's from Mike over at Scoots Collectibles. He was kind of supporting Victor by uh, giving away his new rookie card book, which I already have, but Mike simply wanted to see some of our favorite rookie cards. Uh, this Joe Carter was one of my favorites as a kid. I love this gorgeous Rocky Calavito rookie, and I love even more my Larry Doby rookie, but of course, nothing beats Don Mossy rookies. We have autographed copies of 55 Bowman and 55 Tops. Boom! Mic drop. James at Elite Hunters, he wants to help Saul at BDK721 understand why some people might prefer vintage baseball over modern baseball cards. Um, it's easy to make arguments for both, I think, and I kind of collect both to a certain extent, but I, I certainly do get more of a kick out of vintage baseball cards. I guess you could talk about um, how the history of baseball is so closely tied to the history of America, and uh, maybe modern baseball seems a little irrelevant uh, if you look at it that way, because, you know, you know, baseball certainly isn't as big and as popular as it used to be. But more than anything else, for me anyway, is that I feel like vintage baseball cards are more artful. Um, somebody handcrafted the art on these cards, and even if we're talking about cards with photographs, they, they still seem more artful than cards of today. Maybe not this one. And uh, yeah, they, they still make art for baseball cards today. Uh, some of it's really good. Uh, you had Project 70 in 2020, but you know, that ended up being a lot of hype. And you know, these this wasn't hype. This wasn't you know, Blake Jameson with a can of spray paint or Natural drawing triangles on his Wacom tablet. These were unknown commercial artists rolling up their sleeves, sitting down at a thick wooden drafting table. You probably had a guy, you know, with a list of 10 players that he had to paint that day, not looking for fame or worried about his social media accounts, just doing great work. And, and that work is still being cherished and enjoyed today. Where, where something like this that was made just a couple of years ago, we've really moved on from it, I think. And I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I tried. Jason over at Mr. Fisher Bike, he simply wants to see some in-person or TTM autographs. And I show autographs all the time, so I have plenty to show. But my favorite autograph piece is still my Morgana and Len Barker piece. My wife got Len to sign this for me while she was out of town at a conference. And it took a few tries, but I got Morgana to sign this through the mail for me. Um, a link to this entire video is up there in the corner if you want to go check that out. The uh, big thing that occurred last month was the Playball Art Show at Popped Art Space that I talked about a little bit before, but this was in Ravenna, Ohio. It still is, I guess. It runs until October 11th. But uh, it was me and a bunch of other really rad sports artists doing a baseball-themed art show. Uh, the Pirates piece was from Nathan Matronick. Uh, these are by Daniel Kersey at 61st Street Design Studio. Here's a bunch of really cool customs made by different artists from around the country. Here are my T205 paintings. Really neat to see them all together like this. And uh, some photos and an installation by William Shumay Jr. Here's a bunch of stuff from Eric Kittleberger at Triple Play Design. His Negro League prints are really, really cool. My vending machine made an appearance and I shared it with the other guys. Uh, these paintings are from Josh Toompak. These are great. And uh, Dave Arantes made these really fun graffiti style 86 tops pieces. And uh, finally, not to be outdone by his dad, Luke Kiersey contributed to the show as well. Two of my paintings have made the trip to Brooklyn, New York to Shapeshifter Lab for another baseball themed art show. This one starts on October 10th and uh, B. Roth helped me get into this one. So thank you, Brian. Um, you New York people should go check it out and uh, possibly take some video for me because I can't make it to the opening, but I'm still very excited about it. 
New shirts. Uh, we've got a couple more stadium shirts, including Houston and San Diego. Uh, Seattle was requested, so I will get to that one soon. Um, and I also did this Colgan's chip shirt. I'm thinking that no one would ever buy this one, but I've sold a couple already, so that's cool. Um, I think it's neat anyway, and that's all that really matters, right? I've got a lot planned for this month and some new stuff planned in time for Christmas. And uh, I'm looking at my content for next year and I'm super excited about everything that's coming up. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep you guessing uh, so that I don't feel so bad when I don't get to everything that I wanted to do. Because as usual, I bit off more than I can chew. This is from my new best friend, Michael, who I don't really know. It says, hello, Scott. You don't know me, see? Uh, but I'm a friend of Dustin Abraham. He mentioned that you were a Guardians fan. I wanted to send these along, so hopefully you can use them. Michael Deck, Gators MLD. Well, thanks, Michael. Any friend of Dustin's is a friend of mine. And that is super cool that you would just send a stranger some cards. So uh, let's see what we got. Here's an awesome purple Stephen Kwan rookie. Logan Allen, Ernie Clement, Rocchio, and Aaron Savali. There's Nolan Jones, Andre Semenes, Jose, Zach Plesak, SpongeBob, and uh, Dr. Styx. We've got Classe, Tanner Bybee, Eli Morgan, Clement, Nails, and Stephen Kwan. And finally, a super cool Jose Ramirez that is so rad. Thanks, Michael. You've definitely found the right home for these. Well, hey, everybody. Your friend and mine at Come Up For Egg sent me a little care package. Uh, this says, Superstar, keep up the great work. Just some junk, hugs and kisses, egg. I'm sure it's not junk to me. Uh, let's see what we got. There's uh, Ronnie Belliard. He was a little spark plug. I love that guy. Uh, Eli Rookie. Uh, I miss Cal. I liked him. Arius uh, Carlos. Colin Sexton. A couple of beavers. Pat Valeka Otto. SpongeBob Relic. Ooh, there's the world's best unibrow. Uh, let's see, we got Bert and Bert, so we're going to go with uh, Bert next. Uh, there's Bud the Chud, Von Hayes, who the Indians traded to Philly for, Julio Franco, uh, Tris, my new bestie, Greg Swindell. There's uh, hard-hitting Mark Witten, not-so-hard-hitting Mark Lewis, and uh, Nagy. Yeah, there's my guy, Alvaro, and Alvaro, and Alvaro. There's Kenny, that Jordan guy, was he any good? This <laughs> Sandy is fun, I didn't have that one. Don't mess with Sandy. These guys, Andres the Giant, see what I did there, Egg? Uh, Jose, there's Shane, Oscar, Andres, Bo, Andres, Jose, Josh, Jose. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. It's a Scott sticker and an egg shirt. I love it. And a shiny Andre sticker and Jose. And uh, one more team bag. There's the awesome Burt Otto, a Jarrett Wright. There's a numbered CC, Franimal, and DJ. Uh, these are super fun, Egg. I love it. These stickers are the best, man. Thank you. My man Eddie of Eddie's Cardboard Chaos sent me a little birthday gift because he's awesome. This says, Scott, this is smaller than I thought it would be, but last year I gave you nothing, so quit complaining and open it. I'm not complaining at all, man. Happy birthday, Eddie the National Treasure Walgren. Let's see what the Avengers have in store for me. Oh, man, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. This is a 1948 Topps Magic photo, and these are like tiny, 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 but super cool. I think this is Johnny Berardino, but I'm not positive. I love it, Eddie. Absolutely no complaints, man. This is fantastic. Thank you, my friend. Speaking of birthday, pro tip, when you have a list of awesome stuff that you want, sometimes you get some awesome stuff. My parents bought me an awesome autographed 1952 Topps Al Rosen because they're awesome. Uh, super excited about that one. My awesome in-laws, they bought me the new awesome Ray Chapman book, which I just assume it's awesome because I haven't read it yet. But the author, Scott Longert, is awesome, and he hasn't let me down yet. And the awesome Mrs. Reindeer came through with this awesome red man, Larry Doby. And guess what? It's awesome. Absolutely gorgeous card. Big hugs to my awesome family. Almost done. I uh, picked up this Norman Rockwell set at the flea market. It's okay, I guess. I, I think the images are probably kind of too small, really, but uh, kind of cool, and it was just two bucks. Uh, let's see. One of my Facebook buddies, knowing that I couldn't resist an Alvaro Espinosa, he offered me this autographed minor league card, so I bought that because I can't help myself. And uh, Brian at Card Soup sold me this R346 Blue Tint Bobby Feller. So I was a little miffed about missing out on a card that I've been after for a little while on eBay. And this was sort of a consolation prize to help me get over it. And uh, Brian was kind enough to throw in this rollicking Raleigh Hemsley, who I'm trying to collect when I remember to look for his stuff. So thank you, Brian. You're the best. 
So that's it for now. Thanks to Scoots Collectibles, Elite Hunters, and Mr. Fisher Bike for the VRs. Thanks to Michael, Egg, and Eddie, and my family for the fun gifts and care packages. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch, and we'll see you real soon.